Hello everyone, this is Naitik and today we are going to work on a new project which will be a desktop assistant which we are going to make using Python. So first we have to make an account on Twilio communication, cloud communication because we are going to use Twilio API for sending messages through our desktop assistant. Later on I will teach you how to send messages using Facebook chat module and some more modules. So stay tuned and watch this video very carefully. So first make an account on Twilio. After you make the account you will come to this dashboard. So when you are making an account select the environment as Python because we are going to use Python and then come to your editor or IDE so make a new file or message file so I have made a new file called message file and now I'm going to open my terminal so go to your terminal and then PIP install TV so you have to install the Twilio module to use Twilio API. Now you can see requirement already satisfied. Now I'm going to write the codes. So go below and you will see SMS Python Quick Start. So click on this SMS Python Quick Start. So now you will find the code. So just copy the code from here. You can see. Come to your IDE, paste it. Now you have to bring some changes, which will be the account SID, your authentication token, from and to. So go to your dashboard, come here, copy the SID, paste it here, again go to your dashboard, copy the authentication token, again come to authentication token, paste it here, now copy this trial number, go to your editor, paste it into the from and yes now you have to verify the number to whom you want to send messages so you can verify the number by going inside this phone numbers so I am going to this phone numbers now after going to phone numbers go to verified caller IDs okay so going to verified caller IDs Now this is asking for login again. No problem. I will log in. So now you can see the verified caller IDs. So for adding the number, click on this plus button. Now text you instead. After that, add the number, verify the number. So, everything is done. Now, come to your ID, add the verified number. My number is plus. And the message will be hey, this is our text up. This is the system. Okay. Now if I run F2, so now you can see the message has been sent. Okay.
now in the next video in the next part i will teach you how to send these messages using the desktop assistant so i will teach you how to make a desktop assistant and all okay hello everyone i am back again with my new video in this video i am going to teach you how to make an speech recognizer using python so we are going to use python as you know everyone knows this we are using python so now let me make a new file called main.py now see let me go into my terminal so we need a module called pytt sx3 so i will install it install pytt sx3 and you will see requirement already satisfied ok so now we are going to install one more module pyt install speech so you can see requirement already is satisfied so please install these two modules so now we will write the code so the first thing is we will import can you take two minutes to tell us how the python language server is working no thanks p y t t s x 3 now we are going to import import speech recognition as sr so speech recognition as sr okay so now we are going to write a first code so our first code will be engine we are going to make a variable called engine so engine equals to pyptsx3 into init so you can go into the documentation of pyttsx3 and read all the codes so we are going to use the voice of sapi file in windows we are going to use sapi file so in linux we need eSpeak so later on I will teach you how to install this ESP in Linux. So now we are going to save the rate. So now we are going to save the rate for our voice assistant. So the rate equals to engine dot get property get property. The property will be made and after getting the property engine dot set property now we will set the property so the property rate will be 132 okay so now engine dot say engine dot say and engine dot say Hello, my dear. This is Friday. So our assistant name will be Friday, and then we have to say engine dot run and wait. Run and wait. As and I'm going to run this. So now you can listen. Hello Nitek, this is Friday. Okay, now you can see our voice repeater. We can see this as a voice repeater. We are giving the string and now it is recognizing the string and is speaking. So now we are going to give voice commands. So for giving voice commands, 
we are going to first see I will now use a function ok so let me remove this so the function will be defined speak speak will be the function ok speak and inside speak we pass the audio the audio will be the voice we are giving the command to our assistant ok so later on you will understand this code so now inside this engine dot save engine dot save and the save will be audio the audio which we are capturing our program is capturing it will speak ok the audio will be speak so engine dot run and wait so now everything is fine now we are going to make a function called take command which will take commands ok so inside this we will define take command so take c o n n e command take command and now we are going to do variable r equals to sr dot recognizer ok recognizer so you can go and check the documentation it is same as documentation now we are going to do with sr dot microphone now we are going to use the microphone as microphone at source we are going to use the microphone at the source ok because we are giving voice command so the microphone will be used and we are going to print so see now when we are giving voice it will print listening SP, e and g listening and after this we will set the energy r dot energy soul will be equals to 400 now see i am going to say something now see when you are using a microphone there are lots of noise going around in the background so we have to make our program understand the difference between the noise and our voice so we are going to the set the energy threshold and we are going to adjust so add, adjust ambient noise we are going to adjust the ambient noise and the ambient noise so we are going to give a 0.5 second duration to our program to understand the noise after 0.5 second we will give the voice command so every time you are going to give a command and we are running the program wait for at least one second then speak ok so we are see source duration will be 0.5 second in between this 0.5 second between this 0.5 second our program is going to make the difference between the noise and our voice so r dot pause threshold we are going to pause the threshold at 0 now audio equals to r dot li listen r dot listen and the listening will be the SOURC is source ok so, as. so now we are going to use try and expect ok try and accept sorry so we are going to try and to print recognizing ok recognizing and after recognizing we are going to make a variable called query and query equals to r dot recognize google ok we are going to use google and audio in the language will be equals to English in India, English in India ok so after query we are going to print user said query ok so we are going to print we are going to use, use string formatting user said so the command will be printed in the output screen ok so query user said query ok and then we are going to give space here and after this we are going to accept the we are going to give the exception what we are going to use the exception so the exception will be as e 
so accept exception as e print e t r i n t print e after printing e the exception will say us to please speak say that again please okay so say that again please so the return will be null then again we are going to return the query so after after the program will say us to say that again please we will return the query so the returning the query means again our program is going to listen for the voice command so we will return query and now i can say that we are Set. So now we are going to return the query. Now I am going to write if underscore name underscore equals to underscore 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 the name and we are going to call okay the query. So now we are going to call the query to take the command. So we can check everything is fine or not. So query equals to. So we are going to make the take command into lower form. Okay. The first letter will be lower. As so, we are going to use speak hello. This is your desktop assistant. So, after this, we are going to run a while through. We are going to run this program in a infinite loop. So after while it requires the take command. Now if if there is okay. Now see. Now you are going to understand the main program. If there is hello in query, then speak hello sir. Now. If there is exit inquiry, then speak exiting the program, exiting the program, and then we are going to break the loop. So now I am going to run this program and let's see what is going to happen. Hello, this is your desktop assistant. So now you can see there is a problem in our program. So let's solve this problem. So the problem is listen audio art listen so self non speaking duration is zero okay so non speaking duration is zero so we are going to make it as one from s let's run this again let's see. hello this is your desktop assistant again this is coming assertion error okay assertion error now let's find what does this assertion error means. So first let me see what is wrong here. I thought everything is fine. So Hello, Nighty, come your AI assistant. 
Exit Friday. I'm closing me, sir. Have a nice day. So you can see this is working. My project program is working, but in this there is some problem. So let's find what is the problem. So everything seems to be fine. Maybe dot audio language. Audio language is English. It's fine. User said query. Exception as E. Okay. Exception was as E. So we are returning it to non return query then and wait so I thought everything is fine but something is wrong in our program so let me pause this recording for a while and then I will again come back after solving the error. So wait, 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 wait. I think I have understood what is the mistake. So let me come back and now the rate was going to do run with yes sir hmm, okay so sr recognizer sr microphone as source art energy threshold was 400 art energy r dot for ambient noise source duration was 3.5 r dot post threshold was 1 audio equals to r dot listen source So let me add something like now check this out what is happening. Exit. You can see here language is not name language is not defined, okay? So Let's get back to our code and let's check name language is not defined. Okay, so let's remove this language. Let's run this again. So you can see my VS code is having some error so let me close this and open this again so you can see updating the registry code so I will open this again really I hate windows so yeah while I was solving the error you can skip those steps okay so now let's come back to our program and now run this again. So it is taking a while. Whew. Python extension is loading. Okay. Unmatched. Oh sorry, I have added this again. Hello, this is your desktop assistant. Now you can see it is working. Hello. Hello, sir. Exit. Exiting the program. Okay, now you can see this is working properly. So you can skip that part when I was solving the error. Actually, 
the error was like you can see time of one fresh time limit so we have to give the time limit to our program because now if we did we will not give a time limit then it will start listening 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 it will never stop so when you will say exit it will exit okay so now we are going to add some and add or give some functionality to our program like opening or closing any software okay so we are going to import a new module which is a web browser module so you can install the web browser module so we will import web browser okay so now on oh yes one thing i forgot to say here it will be elif else if okay so again okay, elif facebook in query so if there is facebook in query so we will just open our web browser okay and in web browser we will open facebook.com so first it will speak and this will speak opening facebook search after this web browser dot open stp sorry https www dot facebook dot com so now we are going to check our program i am going to run this again hello this is your desktop assistant open facebook Opening Facebook, sir. Now you can see my desktop assistant is opening Facebook. So I'm going to opening open. Facebook, sir. Okay, now you can see <laughs> this is recognizing again. Exit Friday. Exiting the program. Now see. I'm saying exit Friday, but I have given here only exit. Actually, if you we are seeing a phrase, and if any word is matching with the condition, it will proceed. Doesn't matter what the other words means, or there is presence of any other variable or words. You can say variables like words in the phrase. Okay, like I said, exit Friday. So it is ignoring the Friday and recognizing the exit. word and matching with the condition and exiting the program so i am going to give one more functionality which will exit my firefox for this i will import os module and after importing os module i will give here elif firefox Elif Firefox and close inquiry. So speak. Closing all the process related to Firefox. Sir. now we are i am going to show you how to close the firefox using os module okay so for for this we have to use a command like task kill so the command will be task kill so you can go and search in chrome how to exit firefox using os module okay so the command is os dot system os dot system caps lock on task kill task kill and task kill s f slash i am and we are going to kill firefox dot exe okay firefox 
Okay, sorry, now this will be in small letter. Firefox for ERC. Task kill and Firefox for ERC. So now I'm going to show you. I'm going to write from F2. Hello, this is your desktop assistant. Open Facebook. Opening Facebook, sir. So you can see it is open. Close Firefox. So you can see it is not recognized. Closing yet. all the process related to Firefox, okay. sir. It has recognized my command and you can see the Firefox is closed. Exit. Exit. Exiting the program. As I said before, you have to wait for one second because I have written here duration is 0 0.5 seconds, so we have to give at least one second time when it is listening to understand the difference between the noise and our voice. Okay, so for now, I will stop this video, and in next video, I will show you how to send messages using Twilio and Abby Chat module. WhatsApp API in Twilio and all. So have a nice day.